Hey folks, now we have Vishal with us. So Vishal, would you like to introduce yourself? Sure. Thank you so much. Uh, my name is Vishal. I'm CTO and founder of InfraCloud Technologies. Uh, we run the Pune Kubernetes Meetup, and we work in the area of cloud native infrastructure in general. And I'm pretty active on Twitter, LinkedIn. You know, uh, you can find me. Uh, you know, sharing my opinions and uh, you know what I'm learning generally. Yeah, it's pretty cool. So, like Vishal, as you told me that you are co-founder and CTO in InfraCloud. So, can you tell me more about the what is Infra InfraCloud? What is InfraCloud is about? Yeah. Sure. So, InfraCloud is a company focused on cloud native technologies. Uh, we help a lot of early stage company do product engineering. Uh, you know, using Golang, Kubernetes, and you know, bunch of other infrastructure components. And secondly, we do help end user companies with DevOps, SRE, uh, you know, implementations and transformations in general. We are also very active in community and open source. Uh, we contribute to quite a few open source projects. We also have a couple of our own open source projects like Fission, uh, Cryos, you know, which we are developing and, and you know, sharing with the community. That's pretty cool. I am also contributing in open source, so like uh, after this, I will definitely try out some contribution for infra, infra cloud. So yeah, so it's like uh, as a CTO and co-founder, there are many visions and future pl plans of the company. So what are the future plans and vision of the company? Sure. So I think uh, you know the vision and the and the future of company as much relies on the technology that is evolving. I think with the cloud native technologies, I think we are very clearly seeing a shift from. Uh, Kubernetes is becoming the, you know, kind of almost like a layer that just works and value is moving more and more towards higher layers of, you know, uh, technology, whether it is observability, service mesh, or even application layer, I would say. So definitely that is one area, you know, we are focusing on and working with pretty early stage, uh, you know, companies or, or projects, I would say. Secondly, of course, we are almost now like 200 people company and we continue to grow and, and you know, uh, operate in, you know, these areas. Uh, one of my personal uh, favorite areas is in organizational building. So we continuously are iterating how do we build a kind of org where people are happy and you know they, they do their best. Uh, that it means you know you continuously keep building the structure and changing the structure as you evolve as a company basically. Okay, so like it's like I saw that in technology it's like there is no age for learning. Like it's like when you started and till end you are learning something and something. So what are the areas and what are the some tech stack you are looking forward to learn in coming two three years? So. Yeah. Absolutely. Uh, so yeah, I mean uh, that's that's true. You know, uh, I did my engineering actually in mechanical engineering. So for me, it was all learning on the job, uh, all this computer science stuff. And I was just telling, I think somebody uh, yesterday. Uh, once I probably worked for seven, eight years is when I when I went back to this classic book on you know communications uh, in in software, and I learned about DNS, and that was very interesting for me. Uh, if you ask me about what next two three years I'm looking forward to learn, I think Rust is one language I definitely want to pick up. Uh, I, I picked up Golang when I started working with Kubernetes and open source like around 2016 basically. And, and I think now it is time for me to pick up the Lex language and Rust looks like that promising language. Uh, I'm also very uh, interested and intrigued by what's happening in the WASM space, the WebAssembly technologies. And I'm, I'm you know, of course following all the interesting companies that are you know, recently funded and doing some very interesting stuff. That is another piece I want to learn definitely. Uh, beyond that, I think I'm, I'm very excited with what Vercel is doing in general. Uh, I'm not a very front-end or, or a JavaScript kind of you know, person. I haven't done a whole lot of work in that space. But I think I'm very curious to how Vercel is building stuff you know, and, and you know, deploying at Edge and stuff like that. Uh, also, because I'm a, I'm a competitor to Fission project, which is a serverless uh, you know, uh, project on top of Kubernetes. So that space in general you know, is something I'm always watching and you know, looking at what's happening new. So Vercel is one of the players. Uh, Fly.io is one of the other players, right? And I'm very closely watching what they are doing, how they are innovating in terms of language, runtimes, you know, and, and of course deployments at edge and stuff. So those are some of the areas you know I'm very excited about for next two through three years, I would say. So yeah, like it's very nice to meet with you. And one more thing I want to ask, like students are always, you know, curious about conferences and all about learning stuff. So what's the one message that you want to give to us, like students? Yeah. So what's the one particular message? Sure. So one thing I, I think I, I say to a lot of people, uh, especially more to students, right? Uh, fundamentally, although technologies has evolved and new tools and you know uh, technologies have evolved over the last one two decades, some fundamentals have remained very very similar, sort of, right? I would absolutely say focus on fundamentals, get the fundamental basic things right, right? It's okay not to learn ten things, you know, at a high level. It's it's completely alright to just learn one thing, but know it like really really well and in depth, right? So definitely optimize for specialization or going deep into one area. Because once you have gone deep into one area and understood something very well, 
that will actually help you understand other things you know, far better rather than trying to just scratch the surface of 10 different things. And, and see, uh, with the landscape that we have, with the so many technologies you know, we have, it's very easy to get that FOMO, uh, the fear of missing out and say, hey, I want to learn this, I want to learn that, and stuff like that, right? But I would really uh, try to avoid that, focus on one or two things, and go super deep in those one, two things, especially in early your career. That is very uh, important, I would say. Yeah. So like one message is like focus on one thing, contribute, contribute to open source projects and yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so like, much. Like nice meeting with you Same and here. the learnings which you like shared, it's amazing for students. So sure. thank you so much. Thanks, thanks yeah, thank you.